So you've returned. Do you still remember? The desperate cries of a girl, pleading for help. It began with the great chasm. The crystals fell into darkness, one by one, heralding the world's end. Then you came, and you met them, four warriors of light. The first was Tiz. He lost everything to the chasm, but the strength he gained from your soul allowed for his miraculous survival. As he stood on the precipice of despair, a girl appeared, offering hope. She was Agnes, the last person in the world who could return light to the crystals. Guided by the fairy Airy, the two set forth on their quest. On this journey, they met Ringabel, a man with no memories save one, that he was in search of a special girl. Idi no, no sooner had they met, than Ringabel pledged his life to her. From across lines of war, Idi listened to her heart and joined your cause. It was a journey of countless battles. In the name of anti-crystallism, the Duchy of Eternia pursued the Vestal Agnes. Everywhere you went, the asterisk holders of the Eternian forces stood in your path. But you overcame them all. And in the end achieved your goal. Wind, water, fire, earth. The crystals freed from the shadow shone bright once more. Now light shall return to this world. Or so you believe. Then a great pillar of light rent the sky, ripping through time and space to connect to a parallel world. On and on it hurtled, tearing countless chasms through countless worlds. You thought you had saved the crystals, but it was all an elaborate hoax. I remember everything now. So spake Ringabel upon seeing the face of Altonus Dim. For he was Altonus from another world, where he had fallen to a cruel foe. That foe, the true enemy, was Airy all along, your party's guide and ally. She had linked tens of thousands of worlds with her chasms, seeking to revive her dark master. The god of destruction, Ouroboros. The bringer of ruin who consumes entire worlds to claim nigh limitless power. The four were helpless before him. As utter defeat loomed, the pendant that carried the girl's voice to you began to glow. Its light bound together the heroes of countless worlds, giving you the strength to strike down this ruinous god. At long last, peace returned to Luxendark. And when it did, Agnes visited each crystal in turn, restoring them to harmony and order. Upon her return, she was named Pope and leader of the Crystal Orthodoxy. Idia returned home to the Duchy, to carry on her father's work. Her eyes open from her experiences. She strives to lead her homeland into a new era. Ringabel went back to the world he hailed from. His reasons were known to himself alone. Perhaps he remembered some long forgotten duty. And Tis had come to realize that there was another soul residing within him. Yes, your soul. I suppose it's time to return what I borrowed. With those words, he fell into a deep slumber.
but that was then. And now, a new tale must be told. We meet at last. Peace, harmony, order. <laughs> I deny your world and everything in it. Stand down, your holiness. Unacceptable. After untold years of strife and suffering, the Crystal Orthodoxy and the Duchy of Eternia have finally achieved our dream of peace. I will not allow anyone to stand in our way. Are we feisty, Pope Agnes? You see, we had a dream of our own. To call upon the realm's two greatest powers. On this, the day of your greatest triumph. And crush you both in one satisfying swoop. A declaration of war? So be it. The Grand Marshal of Eternia will strike you down where you stand. Alternate, to my side. How about you? <laughs> Monstrous. Who? What are you, fiend? <laughs> Those feeble blows won't even tickle my master. Perhaps you don't realize who you're facing. Bow down before he who will usher in on a revolution. His Imperial Majesty, the Kaiser Oblivion! Pope Agnes, come and take your rightful place at my side. With your power, I shall deny this world. Never! In the name of the Three Cavaliers, I shall defend Her Holiness with my life! More courage than wits. Very well, young knight. I deny your courage with my own hand. I will not. I cannot. I swore an oath to protect you, Your Holiness. I will lay down my life before I leave your side. He's too strong. Then I have no choice. Your Majesty, they're pendant! I think not. <laughs> the power to communicate beyond words. A power that is lost to you now. Let us end this charade. I won't let you take her! You've a knight's resolve. <laughs> Nothing else. Your Majesty, this one feels like trouble. Might it not be wise to kill him here and now? Indeed. Valet, young knight! Ah! Uh, your your holiness. For, forgive. Me.
Oh, Master Yu! Oh, thank the heavens! For seven days we have tried to rouse you, but to no avail. We feared you lost to us forever. I was asleep. Caught between life and death, no doubt. Your wounds were most grievous. For you to recover so soon, it's nothing short of a miracle. I felt the Kaiser's blade. And then... Master Yu, I needn't remind you, but House Jenny Olja is the most prominent house of the Crystal Guard, and you are its sole heir. If we were to lose you, why, uh, oh, how I prayed and prayed that you would open your eyes again. No doubt it was your great forefather who led you back to us. Thanks and praise be to founder Jenny Olja. Oh, but forgive this old man his ramblings. Uh, pray rest and recover your strength. Pope Agnes, I... I failed her. What's this? A fragment of her pendant? Her Holiness... I wonder how my companions fare. I must hurry to the Sanctum.
Everyone's gone. This can't be. Well, look who's back from the dead. Jan and Sir Nikolai, my friends, you, you live. Master Yu, we heard your wounds had left you in a deep, deep slumber. Who could sleep at a time like this? What of the rest of the Crystal Guard? Tell me they too still live. Wish I could, but we took a real beating. Counting you, me, and the old man here, of our 200 knights and bishops, only 20 or so remain. This... this can't be happening. And Pope Agnes, where has the Kaiser taken her? Gaze out the window, Master Yu, and you may see for yourself. The window? There, in the sky! It's... Uh, uh... The Skyhold, or so we've taken to calling it. The Glance Empire's seat of power, commanded by the Kaiser of Lyft itself. And it would appear that he is busy making war with Eternia through speed. At this rate, it's only a matter of time before the duchy falls. Eternia. Sad fate for such a proud nation. <laughs> but what can we do? In this state, they're little else than watch. Watch, and see how the battle unfolds. <sighs> yes. Little else. <laughs> I'm off to the Skyhold, then. Right, right, you're off to the... Wait, are you mad? <clears throat> Master Yu, perhaps you haven't been following the conversation. A solitary assault on the Skyhold would be pointless. Senseless. Folly. The Kaiser already beat you six ways to next week, and you didn't even twitch till today. If you storm the Skyhold, you're a dead man for sure. But I'm not dead yet. And as long as I'm alive, I still have a chance to set things right. So I'll fight back. I'll take on the Skyhold and rescue Her Holiness. They'll get theirs. Plus gravy! Heh. <laughs> Big talk for someone who just stumbled out of his deathbed. Fine. You won't listen, I won't stop you. Let's go then. Together. You're fixing to see the Kaiser, right? Not bite it on his doorstep. You wouldn't last two seconds on your own. But with the fencing prodigy Jan on guard at your side? <laughs> Now that's another story. Jan, I knew I could count on you. That said, fencing prodigy? You got a problem with that? Look, here is the point. Together, we're unstoppable. Kaisers, empires, bring them on! That's the spirit, Jan. And with that, we are off to... To your doom. Uh, uh, uh yes, we're off to... Your destruction? I, together, the two of us will... Accomplish absolutely nothing. Uh, yes, but the two of us will... Absolutely, positively, and indubitably get yourselves killed. Yes, you will absolutely, positively, and indubitably get yourselves killed. You can be a real killjoy, old man. We were just getting fired up. <sighs> It was so important, I said it twice, for good measure. This is, of course, based on the premise that you two somehow thought it wise to go without me. Huh? As you know, I am well versed in the art of healing. With me at your side, you would not fall so easily. We are the Three Cavaliers, are we not? Brothers in arms, till the end of our days. You lead us, Master Yu. Give the order, and we shall follow. Sir Nikolai! That settles it. Come on, you. Say something leader-like. Oh, right. As captain of the Crystal Guard's three cavaliers, I, Eugeniolja, give my command. We march against the Skyhold. On our name do I swear, we will deliver Her Holiness from the Kaiser's clutches. I. Hear, hear. A long journey awaits us, Master Yu. 
Pray say your farewells and pre prepare for the road ahead. Indeed! I'd best go see Alfred.